we're talking like big modules that they bring in. The heaviest one we had last year was uh, 2.3 million pounds that went across the bridge. That's a big load. And it was uh, the length of a football field, 385 feet long. It'd probably be 30 feet wide, 25, 28 feet high. For something like that, seven tractors, three pulling and four pushing. It's unbelievable to see, it is. And they only do that kind of stuff in the winter, right when the roads are frozen, rocks all. They couldn't do stuff like that during uh, the summer months because it, it would just tear up the, the road, right? Too much weight. We swing the traffic lights for them as they go through the city. We have two people that open and two people that close right behind them. And then they kind of work in conjunction with their pilot trucks so that the traffic stays on par. So we don't have people running the lights when the lights are wide open. Because when, when we swing the lights wide open, then there's no traffic control. You right. got to be quick and you don't want to get left behind. Because you get left behind, you get stuck in the traffic, then you have to fight the traffic to get caught up to your spot. and. The traffic figures that you're just a local trying to get around them, right? So they're not too impressed. So we use as many lights as possible and the truck's got all kinds of stickers on them and everything that you can imagine just to try and get around and get back in our spot and to just carry on from there. The wide loads we look after in the after hours, right? That's kind of like a pilot service through the carriers. When they want to move, they want to move. So they don't like you being late. I try not to be late, right? Their loads are scheduled for 2.15. We try and be there for 2 o'clock. Well, we usually meet up with them up at the port of entry, just, just on the south end of town, and then just make sure everything's ready to go. We just carry on to the first set of lights, and then another crew waits down at the bottom of the hill at Hospital Street. The boys open and close the lights, or they open the lights and we close them behind, and they follow in behind us, right? and it just keeps going like that for seven sets of lights till we get out to the old temple. It's where the, the last set of lights is going north. A large move will take up to five hours, and then a, on a quick move, we can do it just under an hour. We've been doing this for so long now. This, this wide load thing has been going on probably for about 18 years now that I know of, right? I've been doing it with the city for probably for about 18 years now. I came up here with police and transport in uh, 79 and uh, we were hauling coke out of Suncor to the, the old train station downtown. And then when I come up here, I met one of the girls that was hauling gravel at Suncor and stayed here. By, and I've been here 31 years now. This place has done me well. That's done me really well. This is my home. It is. It's, if you stayed here that long, it's got to be your home, right? My name is Bob Kinley, and I'm known here at the municipality as Bobby. I work for the traffic department.